tackle talk number three. I'm going to be talking about swim baits, soft swim baits, that is. Uh, we're going to be talking about four in particular. The Biospawn Exoswim. The Strike King Rage Swimmer. The Guggen Baits Saucy Swimmer. And the Kai Tech. So sit down, chill out, stay tuned, and uh, enjoy. start out with this guy. This is the uh, this is the Rage Swimmer. So this is Strike King's offering into the soft body swim bait world. Uh, I think these have been around for a long time. These are the 4.75 inch and they are green pumpkin and pearl. Uh, they have plenty of colors and plenty of sizes. These are just the ones that I decided to pick up for my area. <coughs> So, initial impressions, um, it reminds me of a beefed up Kytec, um, without the softness of the plastic, if that makes any sense, because Kytecs are super soft. Um, this one is a little bit on the tougher side, it's got some stretch to it, it's, plastic seems really durable. Of course it's got the hook slots cut out right there on the top and the bottom. Just an overall good looking swim bait. Colors good looking. Yeah. I'm looking forward to throwing this. And when I do, I'll let you guys know um, how they did. So uh, moving on to the second swim bait. This is another one I have not thrown. And that is the new Guggenbait Saucy Swimmer. Um, been hearing a lot about these, so saw them at my local sporting goods store probably a month ago now and decided to pick some up. Haven't thrown them yet. So they've just been sort of sitting around. Initial impressions, I think these are going to do pretty good. I think they're going to do pretty dang good in the water. It feels like a 50 50 mix of a Kai Tech and a Biospawn Exo Swim as far as the plastic toughness and, and softness. Um, it's got the look and the ribbing of a Kai Tech and just the durable feeling of a Exoswim. Um, they also put the slaunch sauce on this bad boy. The uh, scent that the Guggen Bates is known for. It's a real strong anise scent and uh, personally I like I like it I like the smell of it again I have not thrown this and I will report back to you guys when I do next up on the list from uh, Japan is the old Kai Tech I've been throwing these for uh, over a year now I've caught some fish on them and they're great little swim baits I've got the 3.8 inch in bluegill flash right here and this tends to work around where we are it imitates bluegill imitates rainbow trout um, the main two forage species so it imitates the the main bass forage up here pretty well these things have an action second to none that's the one thing I'll give the Kai Tex over all these other swim baits that I've sent in front of me is uh, the action is probably the best. Now that comes at a price and the price is durability. So, you know, I guess it's up to you as an angler to decide what what kind of balance you want in your swim baits or baits in general. So yeah, the Kai Tech, I think everybody's thrown a Kai Tech, good lord. Um, they've been around and they're fish catching machines. So get you out and get you some. 
and uh, let's toss them around. You're gonna catch something. Last on the list is um, per personally my favorite swim bait, which is the Biospawn Exo Swim. I've caught plenty of good fish on this, and uh, I actually caught my first bed fish on a Biospawn Exo Swim. Um, I wasn't swimming it, it was uh, laying on a bed. I had pitched it on a bed and it was laying there. There's actually the full video of it. If you go onto my channel, it's titled just Bedfish. And it's cast to catch of me throwing one of these, not this color, but a Biospawn Exoswim right on a bass bed and uh, catching her. But uh, anyways, it's besides the point. This is uh, the Biospawn Exoswim right here, guys. just a sick looking swim bait it's got the ribbing again to disperse water it's got the hook slots super well defined on this bait which I really like and that color again the green pumpkin and pearl how it just fades into it looks really good so my number one thing my number one favorite thing about the Biospawn Exoswim is the durability of the plastic. It's ridiculous. I can throw the same one for well, f three or four fishing sessions before it really starts to wear out and I gotta throw another one on there. Even after multiple fish, these swim baits just hold up. They are tough as nails. And they've got a really, really good swimming action. Not quite as good as the Kitek, but damn near. It's pretty close. They make these in the 4.75 inch, which is what I'm holding right now. A uh, 3.8 and a 3.25, or it's a 3. 3, three or 3.25, one of the two. But they make them in, in three different sizes, plenty of different colors. This just happens to be one of my favorite colors, green pumpkin and, and pearl, like I've said a thousand times. All right, well, that's going to do it for this short little episode of uh, Tackle Talk. Talked about some swim baits, and uh, I've got a couple to get out and throw and test. And, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next one.